M0 FXB, welcome to my videos on the Pico APRS TNC APRS, fantastic device, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, a lot of learning to do with this device. But in this video, I thought I'd show you it working with the APRS Droid app. So at the moment, it's connected, and if I just quickly go send position here, just watch it go, watch it go into transmission, go send a tiny little TXN. Of course, I can connect my external antenna one more time tx oh, i'll get my finger out of the way sorry there you go and it's sending and receiving there's a little antenna connector there normally i use an adapter for my external antenna but i want to just show you how to get it into this mode so on the actual pico device all you do is go menu so push to the left then go across to settings select settings device mode and then go down to KISS TNC and select Bluetooth. You can choose the light one, but I just choose the normal one. The light one just doesn't show up when you search, it just automatically connects. Anyway, Bluetooth. So we're in Bluetooth mode and then the frequency you just push to the right and then you can delete the characters and add them back in and click OK. So you're all set up. That's now a TNC, a Bluetooth TNC, TNC. Remember, it has got USB-C and it has got Wi-Fi, so you can do it via TCP and Bluetooth. That's why some of these gadgets are such fun, and there's a few out there. So then, on APRS Droid, remember that you, it's a pay-for app, APRS Droid. What you do is just go to the three dots and go to Preferences, okay? Just download APRS Droid from the Play Store, okay? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got it on iOS as well. So you've got APRS Droid there. So at the top, call sign. Okay, M0FXB, click OK. Next one down, choose your SSID. Okay, you've got all these choices. Mine is number nine, mobile station. Digipath, I've just left it as wide one, dash one. I think I could probably tweak that. Uh, connection preference is that was already ticked at the top connection protocol tnc kiss tnc kiss that's important i didn't touch the next two connection type bluetooth spp okay and this is exactly the same actually for the d74 and the d75 um then i didn't that was already ticked i didn't touch that tnc bluetooth device and what you'll find is APRS Droid, it, it works out what you're connected to, okay? And it, so when you go into that, the device you're connected to will show up, okay? And look, Pico APRS. Okay, happy with that. Bluetooth device, we just did that. Uh, next one down. Channel, I left it blank. Bluetooth settings, it just shows that I'm connected via the phone. Back button at the bottom, look. And that's it, and I'm pretty sure that's it, you're done. So if we go to the first thing, you can see different things happening here. M0 FXB 5, and then 9, I think one's via the internet. APR SFI map there as well. Search. They're going to take us to the map. It's not taking me straight to the map. Map view there is there. There you go. And of course you can send messages. Um, but I'm not gonna do that now. Let's go back, back, back. You've got a map here as well. That's not the clearest picture, but you can see what I'm up to. So give it a go, have a little play. You've got some shortcuts here for QRZ, APR SFI, export log, external map as well. We're not going to do that and then go back to the first one. As you know, go back. That's it. Send position TX. And if, I'm, if I've got an antenna that's connected via RF to the APRS system, people are going to pick things up. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Stop tracking there. Start tracking. See that? Client connected. Stop. Start. Bye for now.